Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immerse Robot. So I'm back in No Man's Sky again and one of the things I've always wanted in this game is HOTAS support along with motion controller support. So you can transition between motion controllers while on foot and then a physical HOTAS stick while you're in your ship to fly. Because I really don't like the motion controllers um, being used to manipulate virtual HOTAS sticks in No Man's Sky. It's okay, but it really doesn't feel great to me, and I much prefer like a physical HOTAS. Now, I know that there was a workaround to do this a while ago, but when I started to look into doing it um, a few months ago, it seemed that the workaround had actually um, stopped working. It had either been patched out or something had gone wrong anyway, and it was no longer possible. But then, uh, over the weekend, uh, somebody on my Discord, uh, user person person brought to my attention that there was a reddit post last week or the week before i think it was um by doom maniac who actually gave instructions of how to set up motion controllers and hotas in no man's skies and you can transition between them uh, freely as much as you like now it's actually not that complicated to set up it just takes a little bit of tinkering in order to fine tune it um, at least that's what I'm finding here at the moment but um, it does work and just quickly there's a couple of other people I want to credit as well so um, on that reddit post do maniac does um, credit two people on the steam forums uh john boy and wasabi because they put in a, in a bit of work in order to get this working as well but um i'll put a link to that reddit post in the description to this video just so you can follow the instructions if you want to do this yourself as well and actually at the end of this video i will have some basic instructions of how to do it um so you can uh, follow those or just go to that reddit post and follow it's pretty straightforward and pretty concise um, if you want to follow that reddit post anyway, but I will, I will post um, a little video of how to do it So here I am anyway in no man's sky just wandering around on this planet with motion controllers at the moment And there's my ship uh, currently being inspected by a sentinel So hopefully this works still so if I go into the ship I can now put my motion controllers down and on the camera on the bottom left corner you should be able to see my valve index camera and hopefully you can see my hotas sticks as well and if I now push thrust, which I've got bound to a button, I should be able to take off, but it's not working. Okay, let's just try that again, because I am still sort of tinkering around with this, and I haven't got it quite set up right. So let's give this another try. Hopefully this time it will work. Um, okay, there we go. So yeah, there's still a few little glitches that I'm working with with regards to this, to be honest. But here I am now, and I'm flying over the surface of this planet using the HOTAS controls. So there's a few things with this. Um, it's not perfect at the moment. So left and right on the stick on the HOTAS, it will turn your ship left and right more in a yaw than a roll, as we used to in something like Elite Dangerous. And But you can certainly get everything else pretty much working. So I've got the roll positioned on the hat, so I can just use the hat left and right in order to set up this roll. So although it's not really ideal, there's the other thing as well, like the thrust control. So I've got the thrust and the brake set up on a button on the uh, on the throttle part of the HOTAS and that's because it really doesn't work too well when using the actual throttle axes. Um, there's still a few things that it can't do you know you're basically uh, hacking your way to get this hotas working but i've got to say that once you've got it set up and like flying around now i'm perfectly happy it's really not any issues at all um and this is i only set it up about an hour ago to be honest so again i'm still tinkering with it i'm still getting all the bindings correct on my hotas but this is fantastic it works you know it actually does work and it works really well the flight model isn't perfect, it's not as good as we're used to with something like Elite Dangerous, but just having this option to fly around a planet with a physical HOTAS, it's far more accurate in, in my opinion, and it feels much better. And then if uh, I find somewhere just to set myself down. And then pick up the motion controls, and they are automatically activated once again. Get out the ship. And now, 
And once again, we're out on foot using motion controllers in the same way that we have always done. And it works really well. So I'm really impressed with this. This is still the, the problem because whenever I'm in VR and I'm standing, I usually like to be standing. So this will require me to sort of get up from my seat where my hotas is, move over to a clear space and then reset position each time. But sometimes, I, you know, it's just something we have to put up with in this game, I suppose. And it's, it's a problem that all VR games which transition from seated to standing will have in this way. If you don't, if you like to sort of really immerse yourself in the title and stand up when you're standing in VR, as I tend to do, then, uh, yeah, it just takes a little bit more effort to do that, unfortunately. But this is fantastic. So the other thing with this, of course, you don't have to use a hotel. You can use a gamepad to fly the ship. So if you're really not a fan of using that virtual hotel stick in no man's sky then you've got various options to do here you can use an xbox controller or something like that while you're in your ship and it'll probably be easier well it will definitely be easier to set up than uh, the hotel stick because getting the bindings absolutely right and things like that can be a little bit of effort honestly but um, yeah, that works really well. So I'll just transition now to another part of the video where I'll show you just very briefly how to set this up. And I'll only go through the basics and I'll leave it up to you to tinker. But um, yeah, we'll get into that now. Okay, so in order to get No Man's Sky to recognize your Hotas stick, you need to start Steam first of all, and make sure that your Hotas stick is connected to Steam and recognized by Steam. So if you go up to uh, the menu bar at the top, click on Steam, then Settings, and then go down to Controller and General Controller Settings. Then this will bring up this display here. Now, as you can see, every um, connected game controller that I've got will be in these detected controllers at the bottom and this is my Thrustmaster Hotas X controller connected here recognizes an Xbox One controller but that's because we've changed the uh, configuration so if I click on that first then define layout then what we basically need to do is just assign each of the standard gamepad functions in No Man's Sky to a HOTAS button. Just bind each button individually depending on how you want to do it. Now there's a few issues with this. So for example, in No Man's Sky, in order to roll the ship, you have to use the left shoulder and right shoulder button but you can't assign it to an axis on your HOTAS stick, unfortunately. So what I've done, and this is what's recommended on that Reddit post actually as well, I think, um, they've assigned the hat position on the flight stick to left hat to roll left, and then the right hat position to roll right. And that works pretty well for me as well in this game. But then it does create some kind of issues as well, which you need to be aware of. Um, so for example, in that, taking that as an example for the left shoulder button, right shoulder button, assigning them to a hat position, it means that in order to activate your pulse drive, which is usually the left shoulder and right shoulder held down simultaneously, that's obviously impossible with this configuration. You can't press, you can't hold left and right hat at the same time, it won't work so there's a few things that we need to sort out and I'll go into that in just a second this is a work in progress for me so this is just uh, sort of what I've got working at the moment but um, there's a few things that, that need to be rectified with this and I'm still sort of fine-tuning my setup but that's basically what you need to do and with that that's pretty much good enough anyway you can go in and try that with No Man's Sky anyway but just for one other little section let's just um, confirm that and then we'll close that down and then if we come out of this and then in library so if we right click on no man's sky then go into manage controller configuration and then this will bring up this window here now all we're really interested in for the HOTAS is the flight controls and specifically what we want to do is to bind another one of these functions to the pulse engine because we're not able to use the two so shoulder buttons simultaneously in order to activate the pulse engine. Now this button here, so when you push down on R3 it's just used to zoom in on certain things so we can probably use this and this is what is again advised in the Reddit post. So if we click on this go down to uh, click action then we just assign that to pulse engine and then click back and then that will now be locked to the pulse engine in it and then of course we need to go back into that original section so that will just be in steam 
settings once again, controller, general controller settings, and then we are free to define that and use the, use the right stick click to a certain button on the HOTAS stick and then that will now activate the pulse drive. As I mentioned in the other part of the video, there will be a link to the Reddit post anyway. And if you follow that, it's pretty concise and that will probably guide you through a little bit better than just following my rumblings here, to be honest. But um, that's generally how you do it. There's not a lot to it. You can now go into No Man's Sky and the Hotel stick will work. As long as you don't have the motion controllers activated when you start the game, you wait until the game is, is started, then you turn them on. You should be able to go back and forth between the Hotas and motion controllers as much as you like.